Welcome to part one on our XML import series. There are three videos on XML import. In this video, we will show you how to set up the import spreadsheet. You can use XML import to update existing records or create new records in Vernon CMS from Excel. You can find the import spreadsheet in the Wincoll toolkit folder. It is called xmlimport.xls. If you can't find your copy, contact us and we will send you a new copy. Before editing this spreadsheet, make a local copy to work it. The spreadsheet has two tabs. Click on the Data tab. Each row represents a record and each column is a field. The top row is where you add the heading for each column. Avoid using uppercase and spaces in the headings as XML import will be unable to process them. Our first example will update existing records. This spreadsheet will update the valuation of 50 records. The first column is the accession number. We will use the accession number to match a row in the spreadsheet to a record in Vernon CMS. You can also use system ID. The second column is the value of an object. Click on the control tab. Click into the file path cell. Choose a location for the XML file by typing the file path. Enter the file path with the name and then .xml. Click the Generate button. A message will appear saying File Export Successful. Click OK. If this says something else, check if you have spaces in the top row of the Data tab or check the destination for your XML file is correct. The spreadsheet has made an XML file which looks like this. You are ready to begin the configuration in Vernon CMS. Our second spreadsheet example will create new records. We have added the information for 50 new records into the XML import spreadsheet. We will import data into 14 fields. You can see in our example that there are two columns each for place made, artist and artist role. This lets you add two terms to those fields. Click on the control tab, click into the file path cell and type your file path and name. Click the generate button and then OK. Thanks for watching. Now that you have generated your XML files, you can begin the XML configuration. Watch our part 2 video on the XML configuration by clicking the video link below.